change. And so we need to do research on every iteration and see what the impact of those changes are. Okay, engage in socio-technical design. So we need to, not only when we're studying technology, we need to think about and, and do, do studies of how it's actually adopted by students, by teachers, and by school systems. So there's this concept, for instance, of enactment. How, how do the teachers, for instance, enact the use of a particular technology in their classroom? So technology was designed uh, through many, through a sequence of, of uh, well, through a sequence. So maybe some researcher had some idea, and and they said, let's put this idea into the software. And they talked to the software uh, programmer and told them that. And then the so software programmer took that idea and made it his own or made it her own. And so the design, as it got programmed, incorporated maybe a somewhat different concept of that. And then, then they send the technology into the classroom, and the teacher looks at it, maybe with some training, maybe without much, and says, what am I going to do with this? In my classroom, with all the problems I have already, what am I going to do with this? How do I understand what that, what that uh, little thing on the screen means? And what can I do with it? What can my students do with it? So they enact an, an, their own understanding, the teacher's understanding. And then the students have to use the thing. And so maybe they get some advice and guidance from the teacher. Maybe they get some advice from each other if they're working collaboratively. Uh, and they come up with their own notions of, and you see this in the, the, the nice thing is that at least this part can be captured in your data. You can see students saying, well, how do I do this in the system? I'd like to do such and such. How do I do that? How do I do some graphical thing that I want to do? How do I organize the notes in a way that I want to do? And they discuss it, might discuss that. That would be nice. And then you capture that, you can see how are the students enacting the technology? Maybe very, very different from how the researchers first uh, intended it to be used. So the only way you know is by trying it out and analyzing what actually happens with it. Um, lesson five I've talked about already, leveraging technological advances. We definitely need to do this. And the, the advances are they're actually quite interesting, the things that are going on. And I, the only way that I can keep up at all with them is through my students. If I have some good uh, technically oriented students who tell me, you know, this is the latest thing, this is how to do it. At the conference, we heard a keynote by Eric, du, 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 Eric Duval. Very interesting. He keeps up with all these latest things. And they're changing every week. Uh, and uh, if we don't keep changing with them, uh, our stuff to the students, the students know what's happening. Uh, and they're going to say, this, this looks like some ancient piece of software, probably developed back in, you know, back in the day, like two years ago. <laughs> Uh, I'm done. So lesson six is it takes a global village, and that's why we're we're why a bunch of us came here, and why we're going to go to Shanghai and to Beijing as well to encourage this idea of researchers working together globally. And uh, certainly, you heard in the previous presentations uh, by Marlene and Therese about how they're working hard to build this, this global village uh, where people can work together on the technology, the pedagogy, the research, the theory, the policy, the training, all of those things. 
which no individual or small act can do on their own. So, um, as I promised, my slides are available here. And there is a paper here. It's not exactly what I presented, but it's, it's, it's actually on the one slide that I showed the history of theory um, and how that leads to looking at things at the three levels units of analysis uh, and the implications of that. So it's, it's sort of parallel to this presentation. So thanks for your attention. <laughs>